post the links in uh, Canvas so you guys can look at them if you need help. Um, so we're going to take 3R and we're going to, this is problem number 4, and we're going to divide that into 3R cubed. I already answered that. Uh, let me finish this. Let me finish this video, and then I'll I'll re-explain it. All right. So here we go. What do I multiply three by to get three? One. What do I multiply r by to get r to the third power? R squared. R squared. All right. So this becomes three r cubed. Now we don't. That's it. There's only one term. There's nothing else to multiply it by. Add the opposite. That cancels. What do we do next? Drop down the 2R squared. Now here's the tricky part. What do I multiply 3 by to get 2? No. No. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's uh, 0.5? No. 0.5? No. No. Technically, I'm going to have to, this, and I put this in here on purpose, I have to drop this down. This is actually the remainder. You can have two terms in the remainder. So this is the remainder. So my answer is r squared plus 2r cubed, or squared, plus 6r, all over 3r. So now, watch this. Technically, on the next line, I could say r squared plus, and I separate these two. I say 2r squared over 3r plus 6r over 3r. That's a lot of r's. Yep. We're almost done. So then this becomes... If I, let's think about this for a second. If I have r squared here and r on the bottom, isn't that the same as r times r all over r? Yeah. What is r divided by r? R. That's 1, right? What's 1 times r? R. So this remains 2 over 3, but the r is reduced down to just 1 r. Now, what happens with these two r's? They reduce down to 1. And what does 6 divided by 3 reduce down to? 2. That's it. Is that one of the answers? Well, it's not simple, but what it does is it causes you to think about a lot of stuff, right? It's not a lot of R's. There's like three R terms.